Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos multiple times every week. And in today's video, I am so, so excited because it's time for another American Girl video, specifically a restoration video. I got this lovely American Girl Truly Me number 44 doll from a doll show two weeks ago and I love her. And she is actually in really, really good condition. Like she was clearly loved and played with, but not a whole lot, honestly. And I just know I'm going to be able to restore her beautifully, so I'm really, really excited to get started. And I know that people are very nervous about washing this particular hair fiber because they're worried that they'll lose the beautiful, beautiful curls that the wig has. But I will show you how to do it, where you can fully wash, fully, you know, clean it with soap, condition it and everything, and get the curls back to how they were intended to look. And I am just so, so excited. I got this doll for $40, and she was a really huge wish list item for me and the only thing that we really majorly need to address other than the fact that I don't know where she came from so I'd like to wash her really good is that her hair needs washed and she does have some marks on her face so hopefully we'll be able to get those off but most of my American Girl collection was gotten secondhand somehow I'm not super picky with them so anyway let's get started I wanted to turn the camera around so that you can really see the condition that our doll is in so this is what she looks like. So I do believe she was thrifted by the person that I bought her from because she does have this little tag on her dress. And as we move down, you can see that her dress and everything, relatively clean. She even has her original underwear and her body's really clean too. Um, but you'll notice like as we get through this, she will like just look noticeably cleaner despite there not being a very obvious loss of dirt if that makes sense so we're definitely going to be washing her limbs her face everything if you look there seems to be what i hope is not an ink stain on her nose because that's something that i can't address i think that this is a rub to her vinyl but i'm not 100 percent sure hopefully it's surface paint so i can get it off eyes are perfect thank goodness and yeah she's just overall just dirty and then her hair as you can see is not even really tangled it's just kind of been jostled around a bit so this is actually going to be a pretty simple restoration but i'm going to do the whole nine so that she is as perfect as she possibly can be with her hair in brand new condition but really realistically you could just brush this out with water <laughs> and it would probably turn out about like it used to so anyway let me show you how it's done all right so to get started we are going to be surface cleaning so Basically, I am taking dish soap and a toothbrush and scrubbing every last inch of the vinyl areas of her body. With the fabric area, you have to be a lot more careful unless you're going to fully de-stuff her, which I'm not going to be doing. Also with the clothing, I squished it around in dish soap and water. She's not going to wear that outfit again though, so that's the last you're going to see it. And then I decided to not do a time lapse here, just a two time speed of showing me washing her face. and. You just have to be really careful here. I know people are probably screaming at me. Don't soak that wig cap in the water and don't use hot water on a wig cap on an American Girl doll because the glue will loosen. But um, just so you know, this water is warm. It's not hot. I'm trying not to lose the curls, which is why I'm not using boiling water. But yeah, so that's a consideration. I personally don't care if the wig comes off. I will just glue it back on. And then you don't want water to get in the eyes. I'm not too worried about it. I'm specifically worried about getting her super clean. So I don't... I'm sorry, I'm gonna wash the face. Like, you can be mad in the comments if you want to, I guess. It's my doll. So, I've done this a million times, I've never had an issue. If you have an older doll that's prone to silver eye, like the original Samantha, Kirsten, and Molly, then you're gonna wanna be a little bit more careful with this sort of thing. But there you go. So, I was really hoping that that shine mark on the forehead was some kind of surface, like a superficial stain, but it's not. Uh, and same with the nose. I thought it, that was very clearly an actual stain, but. I was kind of hoping maybe it would improve, but it didn't. So we are going to have to go a little bit further. And the next thing we do is wash out the hair. So I'm using dish soap. Don't bother to use shampoo. Like you're not stripping off any essential important oils like you would with your human hair, right? This is a doll, it's plastic. So use dish soap and really get it in there, wash it good. No matter how good of condition a doll comes to you in, you don't know what the history was. You don't know what got in that hair. So wash it out really good. And that's, um, I'm starting to put conditioner in now. So uh, this hair is super tangled. So I'm working the conditioner in with my hands. I hate how conditioner feels in my hands, which is why I'm washing them there. But <laughs> um, just really work that conditioner in. I'm leaving her to sit for a second and I'm getting my American Girl doll brush. And I'm gonna show you so that's how tangled the hair is. And if you're gonna brush, start from the ends and work your way 
outward. American Girl Doll brushes are metal, which I highly recommend. I really, really, really suggest you don't use plastic brushes on these dolls. You're gonna see me switch to a plastic brush here. I don't know where my metal detangling brush is right now. Please invest in a metal detangling brush if you can. Oh no, I'm still trying to use the American Girl brush. Uh, it's just not good for detangling. It's a great brush for styling. Well, I don't know, the shape isn't ideal. Um, but if you're having trouble at all and there's any resistance with the, pla or with the metal brush, put more conditioner in. Also with the, with the plastic brush too, put more conditioner in. Doll hair is plastic most of the time. <laughs> I don't know, maybe if you have a really old one, it might be a human hair, but it's plastic hair. So if you do plastic on plastic, you kind of increase the chance of a lot of friction, which could stretch the fibers, which will make them like be really, I don't know, it messes them up basically. And now we switch to time-lapse and I'm just detangling here. So you do want to be a little bit careful, which is why I'm using so much conditioner because you don't want to stretch out the fibers too much because I'm trying to keep the hairstyle. So yeah. And then here I'm showing you one half detangled and brushing it through. This is what, if you're trying to follow along, this is what it should look like detangled. Basically while it's wet, the hair will be weighed down, but you can still tell that it's pretty curly and it's all kind of working together into one curl. And then that's what the not detangled side look like. And I'm showing that on one side, I can brush through it on the other side, I can't. And start from the bottom when you detangle, remember that. On this side, we have the speed round to do the detangling. So yeah, I'm just really, really working a lot of conditioner in there because I'm not gonna sit here and make it harder. I bought the cheapest possible conditioner, the most disgusting chemically conditioner that would be bad for your real hair. And I'm loading it up, it's perfect. Hi friends, so we are at something of a halfway point, I guess, for the restoration of the hair. I really like to leave the conditioner to sit. This might just be like confirmation bias, but I just feel like it makes the hair a lot softer at the end. I don't know. And since for this particular restoration, we are not using any boiling water. And let me explain, because I've noticed people don't really like to use heat on American Girl doll hair a lot. And I understand that, but if it's straight hair or if it's extremely damaged hair, heat can actually save the wig. And by the way, these are wigs. It's not rooted into the head. It's hard to show you because it's glued down so well, but there's actually a wig cap under there. Um, anyway, so you can actually boil the hair and it's like magic. It makes it perfect again. I'm serious. I do have other videos where I do that. If you want to see those, I'll link my Kaylee restoration in the description. But the reason I'm not using heat on this particular doll is because if you use heat, the curls will go away until you reset them. And it would be really difficult to reset them in this curl pattern if I could even do it. So that's why I'm not doing it. Um, so as you can see, we do still have some of that scratch here. So there was definitely something on the surface of it that I got off, but unfortunately we still have that shine mark and I'm going to try to get it off, but generally with shine marks, you're kind of just screwed. Uh, you can, I think magic eraser it. I'm going to double check that though. And then for this sort of thing, you have to use a magic eraser to get it off, but you'll, you'll remove the stain, but you'll be left with a shine mark generally. So that's up to you. And by the way, magic erasers are not magic it's literally sandpaper with soap infused inside look it up it's just a really really fine grained sandpaper so do not use it on your dolls unless you absolutely have to never use it on painted areas i'm serious um i'm like do not anyway i wanted to show you what the hair is looking like also as you can see the body has a little bit of water on the surface it's just because i'm not like being super careful it is not a big deal i promise you it is just a stuffed animal basically this body is cloth and there is stuffing inside if you're super um concerned about it you can take the head off and remove all the stuffing and dry it out that way i'm just going to make sure she's thoroughly dried out uh, and you can double check that again by taking the head off and checking uh sorry i still have soap on my hands <laughs> um and let me show you by the way so the body was actually like very very clean you can see some bits of conditioner i flung everywhere um but it was really really clean there's just a couple of stains and for me that sort of thing doesn't bother me it's kind of cute it's like she has a little bruise or something um I don't really care and again like this doll's in really really good condition you can see i got the back pretty wet so i'm gonna have to dry her off for longer than usual but i'm not really too concerned about that and then the hair so as you can see the hair is not in its original curl pattern right but i know that we're in a good place because you can still see the texture in the hair you can still see that it's quite curly and i'll show you real quick a little demonstration the hair is wet so it's not going to do it properly but as you can see the hair looks like this and you just have to figure out what the original curl direction was which is very obviously this way and if you curl it back and if you do this with a little hairbrush it makes it work better but this is some foreshadowing for you it goes back into the original curl now obviously it's really wet so it's not doing it how you want it to and it's also naturally separating um don't worry about that trust me it'll be fine 
you don't have to like worry about it. Uh, the only thing you really need to be concerned with is make sure you keep that part line. Don't lose the part line during the process. It's really hard to put it back. Although American Girl dolls are a bit easier because again, it is a wig. It's just a very densely rooted wig. As you can see, it's got a lot of tracks on there. Um, but yeah. Oh, another consideration. I know people are going to comment. You don't want to get the eyes wet. Be very careful not to get water in the eyes. If you do, it's fine. Just dry it out. I did right at the beginning get some water in there, but I just made sure it's all out of there and I'll dry her off very thoroughly. And also, if you're picky about this, I'm not. Don't get the wig cap wet. Um, for a restoration like this, I needed to, but especially with warm water, it'll melt the glue. All right, I'm going to go. Sorry, I can't narrate while I'm in the other room because I have a fan in the bathroom that is super, super loud and you can't have the light on without it. And when I bring my studio light into the bathroom, it looks like a horror movie. So that's the trade-off. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave her to sit for a little bit longer like this. And then we're going to rinse the conditioner out and then leave her to fully dry. Our next step is rinsing the conditioner out. When you put as much conditioner as I put in this doll's hair, you have to rinse it out so good, by the way. I did way more than I showed on camera. Okay, so next we're using the Magic Eraser. So I'm doing this in like two times speed, but I'm doing this so they like a little bit slower than I do the time lapses so you can see what I'm doing. I know it looks like I'm not being super careful, but I'm using the corners. So it looks like I'm using a lot more than I am. Oh, here I wasn't super careful, but be careful of the paint because again, I always get recommended magic erasers by people in my comments. And I'm like, I don't think y'all know what a magic eraser is <laughs> because it's sandpaper. And when I tell people that they get very surprised, but do not use magic erasers except in very specific circumstances, such as this, where we are dealing with like shine marks like this. Okay, I actually went and got actual sandpaper out of the other room. It's a little bit thicker grit than I wanted, but it actually perfectly fixed that shine mark. Um, and then you, you use the thicker grit sandpaper. Don't use one as thick as I did. I'm gonna link a tutorial in the description that should help you guys out better. Um, but I did that and then I used the magic eraser to like buff it to kind of get it closer to the original texture so that it wouldn't be a shine anymore. And it worked quite well with the nose. It was a stain that was not at all superficial and did not come off with OxyClean paste, although I did try many times. So I decided to sand it down and then try to carefully sculpt it back into its original shape, I guess. So you can see me sanding it down. Don't use a sandpaper with a grit as strong as mine. You can see how um, the underneath, I guess, the second layer of that looks. So that's just because I used that thick grit sandpaper. So it's not thick grit. What, what is the word? I want coarse grit. Um, so use the finer grit sandpaper to work it downward. Didn't really work super well. Unfortunately, with a nose stain like this, there's not a whole lot you can do unless you're sun fading, which I don't want to do. All right, my friends. So, um, <laughs> spoiler, this is what it's going to look like when you're done. I have been working on this. Brett and I ate some lunch and then sat and watched stuff and I was bored. So I did this. Um, but as you can see, I did this with no styling product at all. All I did was use the American Girl brush. This is not ideal though. I will link in the description the brush I normally use. I just don't know where my, mine is right now, so sorry. Um, but the American Girl brush is plenty and you can also get a like identical one from Target for like $7 from our generation. Maybe the price went up, I don't know. But the point is you need metal bristles. You can use plastic bristles if you want, but they're more likely to damage the hair. So this is what she's looking like right now. As you can see, the hair is still a little bit dry, but it goes back into the curls perfectly. And again, I'll show you how to do that. Also, did this doll have like weird longer hair in the front that got really short in the back or is mine cut? I don't really care either way. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you how to kind of work through all of the frizzy bits. I mean, one thing that you can do if you have pieces like this that just aren't the right length and aren't working, you can literally just pull them right out. It's a wig, they're sewn in tracks, they'll come right out. Um, I'll do that with dolls that have a lot of broken pieces. There's nothing you can really do about those other than like gel them down. So I just pluck them out with tweezers generally. I think that's probably a no-no, but that's what I do. Um, so I'm using the larger brush to gather the hair together. And as you can see, so you know that this worked, by the way, you know that you can proceed if the hair is doing this. So it's kind of just like real people curly hair, I think, where it kind of looks like this until you curl it. Um, or if you use like certain products, it'll be fixed. But as you can see, I can form really big curls if I want to. So this hair type is actually extremely versatile and extremely fun to play with. And there's a bunch of American Girl dolls that come with this. Like, um, I think Claudia does. I haven't actually held her in my hand, so I'm not sure. Uh, Cecile, I believe, does. This is my Cecile, so I don't know yet. Um, Gabriella and a bunch of Truly Me's like this one and the one Gabriella is based on. Um, but as you can see, you can make some pretty big curls. And that's the magic of the American Girl doll hair. That's why I love it so much. 
it just holds its style so well and this is why we didn't use heat just so you know also you can see it's only been a few hours but she's basically fully dry you can see some water here so i'm gonna continue drying her off which I just sat her in front of a fan, mind-boggling. But you're gonna wanna set her in front of a fan or something, especially if you live in a kind of moist environment. Like, I live in Alabama right now. It's pretty, it's moisture. <laughs> the humidity is quite high. That's the word I wanted. Um, so uh, just put her in front of a fan. So you're leaving the water on the toy as little time as possible because you don't want things to go wrong. Anyway. You can do this with your just like simply with your hand like this and you're basically just curling it like you're literally just like coiling it back into the original style i find that it's better if you brush through while you're doing this but i don't know could be confirmation bias bam beautiful um doing doll hair i'm really just playing with my doll and having a good time oh i forgot to tell you also um she still has some of that stain on her nose if you can see it i went ahead and used a pretty thick grit sandpaper don't do this if you don't want to have to sit and use a fine grit for a long time but i knew that stain was pretty deep so i used a thicker grit sandpaper you can see it in the video and then i used a magic eraser which is the finest grit sandpaper that i have and i didn't feel like going to buy more um and yeah it worked you can still see some of the ink stain but i don't really mind it's not perfect um and then as you can see that scrape that was here i can see it if i like flash a flashlight at certain angles but it's gone for all intents and purposes it's gone um anyway there's her curl. Oh, one thing you really need to master is you don't necessarily have to use the exact like bundles of hair that were used before, but as you can see, this one's kind of too large or the hairs aren't liking being in this one. So I'll just separate them and find different hairs to put in or just leave them. Like these two will be plenty large enough at the length or at the like width thickness. I don't know. The amount of hairs that are in them is perfectly fine. Um, so yeah. And I just love this because you don't have to use any more heat, which I don't mind using more heat, but on an American Girl doll head especially, oh my god, it would take so much, so, so much time. And I've done a similar hairstyle on a Rainbow High doll who have pretty big heads and a lot of hair on them. Oh my god, it took so long. So I'm just finishing off the back and underside of her hair to make it all nice and curled. Super easy. Super, super easy and quick. I love doing this also. I had so much fun restyling people's Gabby dolls because I worked at the American Girl store the year Gabby had come out and oh it's so fun. All right so here is what our number 44 doll looks like after. I did wash her original outfit but I'm going to be putting her in a different outfit. Also I just want to show you in case you're not super familiar with these. So these wigs come pre-curled in these beautiful ringlets right. That's what I've been trying to recreate and that's what I was trying to show you like you can wash the hair get all the gunk out whatever's in the hair and condition it to get it more um, moisturized and then recurl it and as you can see it turns out great that's what i'm trying to demonstrate but what did she look like before i'll show you actually i have a gabriella mcbride who i bought um when she came out and she came with a wig very similar to this mine i haven't messed with like i've never brushed it out but this is what she looks like just being in my collection being kind of jostled around i've never really redone it i have a couple of times redone a couple of the curls but as you can see it's pretty much the same so that's kind of how it goes down and Gabby's about due to have this done to her hair because as you can see a lot of them are coming undone especially in the back it's getting quite flat so I'd like to redo it but yeah that's what it is packaged like so I would say I recreated that look so I want to show you how to kind of get less flyaways especially at the bottoms one of the things that you might need to do if, especially if yours didn't start out as like brand new condition as mine because truly this doll looks like she was never played with it just looks like she got like thrown around a little bit um you might need to trim some of the ends like I would definitely trim some of these ends or you can just pull them because again it's a wig they'll come right out um some of them will anyway if you're just pulling one or two they'll pop right out um but I'm going to show you some products that I use uh, after I do my restorations. I'm not super picky. I honestly like for the hair to look pretty realistic. Uh, I do like the look of a super like unrealistic ringlet curl that you see on like My Little Ponies and stuff or like other people's collections, you know, they'll do styles like that. And I like how that looks and I can do it, but I don't know. I just like the more natural look and this looks very natural, but I'll show you how to kind of really get that unrealistic, like perfect curl look. So this is a product called Water Wax. It's made by the company Azone who actually makes the a lot of the Japanese dolls that I collect. 
Um, and I'm always talking about these Japanese dolls and this amazing styling wax they have in their hair. And I knew it was this. I just never invested in it. It's literally $3. I'm pretty sure though. So I don't know why I was being like that, but <laughs> I finally bought some. So you get this little tub of it and I've been using it for like a few months now and I still have quite a bit and I have two tubs. Um, and then I also bought the wig mist just because like I had to buy from their official U.S. store. I'll link it in the description. I'm not connected. I'm not sponsored in any way. I don't earn it all. This is just for reference for you guys. Um, I bought this too and it's not the same thing. It's more of like a hairspray, if anything, like it actually holds it in place. The wax, I'll show you how it works. So it looks like this and I'll work it into one of these front curls. And the way I normally will work it in is using a comb. So I use a metal comb specifically, which I bought on Amazon and I'll link it in the description in my Amazon storefront. That would earn me if you use that, um, but you can just use a metal comb, like you can just find one. Um, but anyway, you just curl the hair as you did earlier, but this time with the metal comb. And you work all of that wax into the hair. And using the comb too is probably better even if you're not gonna use the wax because it'll help the curl be much tighter and not um, have like separate sections going on. Anyway, so I'm having trouble. I'm just really, really tightening this and it's not an exact science and I'm not super like familiar with it yet but this just basically sticks the hairs together without being super like sticky although it will feel a little bit waxy for sure and you can see some of the hairs are out of place but yeah that's how you get those super like super tight like weird curls and then this is just basically hairspray and it is quite sticky when it gets on your hands and stuff but um just working this into the hair um it's made as like a wig mist for like those collectible Japanese dolls that I get um that you would like spray it on their hair like after you get them so that it stays perfect. So this is gonna make the hair like slightly crunchy so I wouldn't use too much, but anyway, you can work that in with your fingers or you can do some recurling a little bit. And it again, it's a little bit sticky and it will kind of feel that way, but it'll keep the curls a little bit nicer and I'm just gonna work it in. And yeah, I really wish you could just reach in and feel it. Also, it smells really good, that's a bonus, but it is quite sticky. So I don't know if I'd recommend the mist as much as I would the wax, but. Yeah, it's just, it's an option. Every time I do one of these videos and I don't like perfectly do the ends of the curls, I always get comments about it. Um, so if you want to perfectly fix the ends of the curls, those are some little tips that I would have. Um, ultimately, if you wanted like absolutely perfect ringlet curls, probably gonna have to use heat and like recurl, but that's not something that I'm interested in to get a slightly better result that I, wouldn't even notice a difference. I mean, I would know it's different, but I don't mind. And the American Girl dolls don't come that perfect anyway, so I don't really care. But yeah. Looks cute. I think that the hairstyle and the hair wax, though, I really like to finish them off with it. I think it looks very, very cute. All right. Oh, I got some hairspray on her chin. No, I gotta get that off. Um, so now let's figure out an outfit for her. I'm really excited. Hi friends, before we get to the conclusion of this video, this video is sponsored by me. I have channel memberships now. If you guys are interested, check the memberships tab on my channel or the join button that may show up below if you are on, I believe, desktop. And um, I offer you custom emojis and a bunch of other stuff. You can read all about it there and it helps support the channel even further. All right, I apologize for cutting straight to the doll all dressed, but I was gonna do this whole thing where I laid out a bunch of outfits and we tried them on her, but I realized I don't have a lot of extra American Girl outfits right now because I keep finding really good deals on them thrifted. <laughs> so they generally don't come with outfits or just come with one of the generic Truly Me outfits. So this is the outfit we went with. This was immediately, like I went through all the outfits that I have extra that aren't specific to a certain character. And I was like, well, this one's gonna look adorable on her. And I, I love it. So this one was actually gifted to me in my P.O. box and I love it. Like as soon as I opened it, I was like, oh, it's perfect. And this is one of the first American Girl of Today outfits. I do believe it's Pleasant Company. It's from the late 90s, probably around 97, 96 or 97. And like it's from one of the first years of American Girl of Today, which was the original line that was truly me. And that's actually what this doll belongs to is truly me. Most likely maybe the Just Like You line. Uh, just depends what, what year this one specifically came out, but I think she looks really cute in this. I think it really brings out her eye color in a really cute way. I think the, especially this gray color just really complements her 
eyes and oh she's so cute it's gonna be a long time before i come up with a name because all of my favorite names that i generally use for things i've already used on all my american girl dolls <laughs> like it fits them so it'll come to me one day i'll just be like oh your name is this and i'll let you know definitely gonna be doing an all my american girl dolls video relatively soon i know you guys have been asking for more american girl content and i'm happy to make it i do um i'm currently really invested in american girl dolls right now like Having them back out in my doll room has really helped me be like, oh my god, I love these, and I'm playing with them more, so um, expect more videos on them. I don't know how many, I don't know how frequently, but you'll be seeing them a little bit more often, most likely, and we'll do our 2023 collection video as well. I don't know if I've done one since, like, what, 2021? I think I did one in 2021. Hopefully I did one after that, but I honestly don't think so. Last time I did it was when I lived in the basement, so I'm pretty sure. So that's been a while, and my bangs looked crazy in that video, if I recall correctly. Um... But yeah, that's it. If any of these steps didn't make any sense to you, uh, or if you just need clarification, let me know. I'll link the supplies that I used in the description. Hopefully this helped if you're trying to restore it all, or if you just want to keep it in the back of your mind for some reference. I will say that like every time I buy an American Girl doll secondhand and I'm like, I'm going to restore her, people are always like, just take her to the Ameri like the American Girl has this program called the Doll Hospital where you can send in or bring your doll into the store and they'll fix the doll for you for a fee. I believe a head replacement is $44, but it might have gone up. That was just when I worked for the American Girl store in 2017. It was $44. Let me tell you, they don't just fix your doll for you. They fully replace the part. So for some people, that's what they want. They rip the entire head off and they put a new head on. So, the only time I would recommend bringing a doll to the doll hospital is in a situation like this. But at the same time, I don't want to lose this face because I really think her face is beautiful. So, I'm going to try to invest and find a wig. Also, Cecile is out of stock at the doll hospital, just so you know. You cannot get Cecile anymore. <laughs> um, they don't manufacture her at all. Uh, but for me also, I know that they just, again, from experience, I worked at one of the pop-up locations, the heads from the doll hospital go in a big box and they practice piercing ears on them, and then they go into the trash compactor. That makes me sad. I don't want to do that. I'd rather fix what I have. Also, this has just saved me $44, which is good. Again, I don't know exactly what year this one is. If you're one of those people who can just tell, I'd love to know, just out of curiosity. But for me, it's just, I've bonded with this doll, I like her, and getting a new head is basically getting an all-new doll. And I just think she looks so cute, and I'm pretty proud of the restoration. I think this is one of my better ones. Although the nose is unfortunate, but I did mostly get rid of the ink. You can still see some of it, but it's just that really shiny spot because I need to sand it more. Uh, but I'm telling you, I sat there with the magic eraser for hours. Okay, hours might be an exaggeration, probably about one hour, and just sat there and scrubbed it, and it didn't really do much because magic erasers are the finest grit sandpaper ever. So I need to get a little bit coarser of a grit to deal with that, finish it off. Anyway, there are tutorials for that. I might link one in the description if I find one that I think would be helpful if you guys are dealing with shine marks. But as you can see, I didn't even point it out, but where's the where's the forehead mark? It's actually gone. If I really zoom in, I wonder if you guys can even see it on camera. Yeah, you can see it just barely right there. That's the shine mark that was so bad on her forehead. I wasn't even considering the nose issue, even though ink stains are a lot harder to remove. I went with the route of trying to literally remove it with sandpaper. <laughs> which is an unusual one, I think. Anyway, for a list time, I'm just going to ramble forever. Sorry, I haven't talked about American Girl Dolls in forever. So I want to. Also, by the way, I was saying earlier that this is, um, this Azone Mist or whatever, Wig Mist, I forgot what it's called, uh, makes the hair a little bit sticky. It is, it does, but like the stickiness, it's magic, it goes away. Like it's not sticky anymore. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, but uh, it'll still feel a little bit less like soft than it did before because it has glue sitting on it but I mean helps them stay in place it tamed the flyaways I like it okay for all this time for real for all this time thanks so much for watching bye